All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode nine of the Whatever Podcast. It has been way too long, and I know I say that a lot. I've said that like with the last three episodes. Honestly, it's kind of like it's part of my intro now, to be honest. <laughs> but I'm sorry. Um, I've just been super busy, and then um, you know, I was like, oh, I every and at the end of every episode, I'm like, hey, I've got some new stuff coming up. Yeah, where's it at? Um, yeah, it's crazy. Things have been insane. Things have been just wild. I haven't been able to do the new stuff. I want to so badly, but it's just like, you know, the current state of the planet right now, and then just you know, just work and school and all that. It's just been it's been a lot, but I'm gonna try. Like I want to do, like, uh, like a Jerry Seinfeld comedians and cars getting coffee type thing, right? Just like get a bunch of my friends we all get in somebody's car and we just drive around the neighborhood and just have a podcast like i want to do a bunch of cool stuff like that and um i don't know if it's coming anytime soon because uh welcome to the apocalypse ladies and gentlemen goodness gracious how's uh how's quarantine doing for you how's self-isolating like this is this is crazy like this is insane like I, I I will because you know as might as well just get the uh, coronavirus talk out the way. Um, I will admit when this first started happening like a month or two ago, I was a hundred percent on the bandwagon. Of, oh no, man, it's just a flu. Like, you know, like nothing bad is gonna happen. It's just a flu. But it's just like you know. And then all of a sudden, Italy uh, started getting a lot of cases. You know, um, South Korea and. Yeah, freaking um, everyone. And then all of a sudden, Italy just locks itself down, and it's just like <sighs> I started getting worried. I'm like, all right, maybe I was wrong, and uh, it turns out I was right. Like people are dying really fast. Like, oh, man, this was this episode was supposed to come out. Uh, I was supposed to record this episode a while ago, but uh, yeah, right now China's doing good, so that's good. But um, for some reason, it seems like China's the only place that's doing good. And everyone else is kind of just going crazy. Africa has, like, I think literally zero cases. Like, uh, so that's good. Australia, I didn't even know stuff was going down to Australia. I saw a video, um, it was like a compilation of people fighting over toilet paper, which I will wa- uh, talk about in a minute. Yeah, people are fighting over toilet paper in Australia and Germany. Uh, you know, Italy, um, Canada and America had closer borders to each other. Canada, I mean, America and Mexico just closed off their borders to each other. Right, like, it's, it's crazy. Like, um, yeah, but, um, I hope everyone's alright. I hope you guys have enough supplies till the end of this quarantine. Like, this could literally take a year. Because, you know, they're doing the vaccine trials and that's going to take a year, so... This we might be locked up in like our houses for like a very long time, or it'll take like another two, three months, hopefully. Well, let's see what happens. Like, like this is crazy. Like people are hoarding up stuff. Like I've been out and about. I don't. I mean, uh, you know, just essential stuff. Like you know, um, it's just it's so silent. Like I've never seen. I I live in a small town. I live in big flats. It's not really the hustle and bustle. But, like, it's just silent. Like, the traffic lights were off one morning. I had to go um, get my car fixed and all that. You know, I had oil change and a state inspection. And, yeah, it was just silent. Like, every, everyone was empty. Everywhere was empty except, for, like, a Target. And then, like, the traffic lights were just off. So I was very glad I didn't get in a car accident because that would have been crazy. And, yeah, it, it just is a lot more silent now. And then, you know, school's out. Freaking uh, all these online classes. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, imagine if I have to graduate in uh, my my bedroom, right? <laughs> there was these kids, Um, I think they're like grade schoolers, like uh, little kids in Japan that uh, they didn't get to go through like their elementary school graduation. So they all just um pretty much did it in Minecraft, which is really cute. That was really funny. Um, but yeah. Um, all this hoarding is kind of confusing me. Like, at first, like, I thought, like, I'm like, why are people hoarding all this toilet paper? But then, you know, people are hoarding toilet paper for obvious reasons, right? You know, it'd be the worst thing to run out of toilet paper and you're stuck in your house all day. Because, you know, I mean, I would rather be stocking on food and water. But, you know, I get why. And it's, it's kind of, it's still unacceptable. Because, you know, there are people that actually need these things. Like, you know, there are people who are, like, 
got like four minimum wage jobs and still can't like fully support themselves and the family you have homeless people like you just have a lot of stuff and people are just hoarding as much as possible and it's not it's not okay i don't think that's okay right like it's i've seen yeah i want a compilation you just have people like literally like beating each other till they're bloody over a roll of toilet paper and that's that's not even an exaggeration i was watching a compilation this morning two guys arguing about something one of them spits in the other i think toilet paper was involved they're just fighting each other like crazy and then when a customer I mean, not a customer um, an employee finally breaks it up like one of them is literally just covered in blood like um there's uh, there's one video that kind of went viral a few days ago where it was uh this lady I say middle aged or like kind of on the younger side it was like literally like wrestling this old elderly frail lady over toilet paper and you know, luckily the old lady got the toilet paper but like it was just it was really sad to see cuz like we've come to this point where it's just like we're going to beat up the elderly just cuz we need some paper like i don't know it's kind of it's kind of weird and um it's just it's sad right like i hope everyone's all right well please wash your hands stay inside i'm getting angry because, like, I'm, you know, I'm doing what I'm supposed to. I'm washing my hands. I'm staying inside. Um, I should have. <laughs> I will admit, um, last week, or actually, I think the week before last week, I was in Ithaca. And I was in Watkins Glen first, me and a bunch of friends. We went to Watkins Glen. And I don't think there were any, um, oh, excuse me, cases in Watkins Glen at that point. We went up to the gorge, you know, on the fountains, the falls, and some fun. And we were like, all right, we're all hungry. Let's go get some place to eat. Uh, go some water to eat, and so we decided to go to Ithaca, and so we went to Ithaca the same day, but it was like around the time where you know Ithaca was shutting down, right? Like this was at the point where the yeah, Tompkins County was shutting down because there have been cases in Tompkins County, but um yeah they're saying right. so we went down there. Uh, I was like kind of freaking out. I'm like yo, because like we went down to the Commons, right? The Commons is like that whole like college area or all the hustle. It's like the city part, right? You know, all the college students are there. You know, all the college students are like coming home or they're going home, and so you know it was really really silent. We went there like at nighttime too, and like you know, if you ever go to like a big city or just a city in general, like nighttime is still pretty active, but then there was just no one. Like it was just kind of eerie. Like it was kind of ridiculous how like just silent it was. And it's crazy. Like I want to go like go down to like New York City to see if um, it's the same way. I highly doubt it because, as we can see, people aren't listening to the whole you know stay inside rule. Florida's beaches are just you know packed. Like the governor won't uh, close the beaches. I don't know if that's been changed since, but uh, yeah, people are just you know spring break, woo, right? Freaking, um, it's predicting that fifty six percent of Californian. People who live in California are going to get it. I got family down in California. I'm praying for them. It It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous, right? Like, Florida's, you know, I saw this video of, like, all these, like, kids, you know, uh, college students, like, oh, you know, we get corona, we get corona, right? Like, I remember when that was a joke, right? You know, people like, oh, these plane tickets are so cheap. We're just, you know, if I get corona, I get corona, right? That was a joke. But then, like, you know, people have, are actually taking uh, <laughs> it seriously. So, yeah, yeah, that's great, that's great, All right, like, that's, that's fantastic, because, like, I remember I saw it, people was like, everyone in this video who was like, oh, we're not gonna ruin our spring break just because of the virus, like, all those people look sick, and, like, I don't know how true that is, you know, it's hot out there, they're on the beach, but then, like, at the same time, right, like, who knows, who knows, who knows, like, it's just... It doesn't look like it's getting better, right? Like, because it's not, right? We're having a lot more, um, we're having, in America, especially, we're having a huge, like, increase. I think we're up to, like, 19,000 cases. And while we do have, like, 70,000 recoveries, the problem is that, and also, the fact that there are these more cases is because, you know, there are more, there's been more testing. But that's still not the best thing because, like, you know, now, I'm not going to act like I'm a doctor, but it's, like, it's kind of more or less common knowledge, right? Even if it's because of the testing, it just shows, like, how infectious this is getting, or not even getting, how infectious it is. And the fact that, you know, you have, like, this whole thing where it's, like, people are getting deathly ill, and then there are people who re who have it and they don't realize it. Like, Idris Elba. I'm pretty sure he had, like, a non... Um, 
symptom coronavirus. Like, he has it. He has a coronavirus. He's quarantined. He doesn't have symptoms, right? Yeah, he got tested, like, ASAP. You know, he's a celebrity. And speaking of celebrities, actually, let's let's talk about celebrities. Let me talk about celebrities, because I'm getting very angry. Um, you know, there's a whole drama about how these rich, famous celebrities are getting tested before everybody else. You know, that's that. It's crazy how all these celebrities are starting to complain. Oh, no, I'm stuck in my multi-billion dollar mansion, right? I mean, granted, you know, money is not the only thing that can make you happy, right? But at the same time, they are doing a lot better than a lot of people. And instead of, you know, like, helping somebody... I know Steph Curry, I think, is, like, providing food to kids in need. Kids in need. But then you have all these other celebrities who are singing, like, John Lennon songs instead of, you know, providing relief. You know, maybe some of them are, like, you know, doing it without all the media uh, prep, you know, media um, attention. But, you know, hopefully they are. Excuse me. But, yeah, you just see a lot of them just singing Beatles songs instead of actually helping out people right in you. It just doesn't sit right with me. I just don't really think that... I think they could be doing a lot more. Right? Like, it's just... It's crazy. It is crazy. Right? Like, I'm on Twitter right now. And if things don't look like they're getting better. Right? Like... Let me see. I'm on Twitter right now. I'm on Twitter. I'm trying to look for... Um... Some more news about the corona. I just don't really see. I mean, oh, Drake. Uh, Drake doesn't. He can't, his results came back negative. So yeah, that's uh, that's great. Uh, rest in peace to Kenny Rogers. Um, yeah, he was a country singer. Uh, he is dead. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I didn't. I don't. I'm not a fan of country, but um, it seems that a lot of people. Oh, great. Um, yeah, Germany has sixteen thousand over sixteen thousand cases. Um, more than ten thousand cases in New York State alone. Um, yeah, in speaking of New York State, yeah, the, all the essential stores are closing down, and um, it's 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 crazy. Like it's crazy, like it's ridiculous. Like there's supposedly. Um, the National Guard is supposedly, like, gonna come in tomorrow. Like, I'm recording this on Saturday, uh, the 21st. Supposedly the National Guard's supposed to come in tomorrow, the 22nd, to, like, make sure people are staying in their homes as well as, you know, people aren't, like, trying to loot things. Um, speaking of, like, literally, this might turn into the purge, right? I mean, I highly, highly, highly doubt that. But, like, imagine, though, right, we're all sitting in the quarantine in our homes, and, you know, you just have other people just sneaking out trying to get more stuff. Like, imagine, like, this could go crazy, right? Because you, ha- you already have those two senators who apparently, like, knew, I think it was the two Republican senators that, like, knew full well this was going to happen, and they just, like, um, dropped or, like, increased their stocks and just got, like, super rich. But, yeah, it, it's it's crazy. It is crazy. And, um, uh-oh. Interesting. Um, uh, Cuomo, New York governor. Um, a lot of people are saying, uh, that Cuomo should be president now. So, that's interesting. But I guess he, yeah, I guess he actually, um, I guess he's actually doing a pretty good job with this corona thing. So that's good. That's good. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, back of the purge. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get off Twitter now because you know I'm literally recording a podcast that I haven't recorded in like months. So let's get back to the business, right? The purge. I actually have never watched the purge movie, surprisingly. Um, yeah, I just I just never was able, actually able actually not able. I was clearly able. I just never came around to watching them. I feel like the purge is something you'd like watch with your friends or something. You know, and that's the thing, right? The concept of purge, right, is very interesting to me because, you know, it's like all crime is legal for 24 hours or 12 hours or whatever. But I feel like it could be a lot better if there wasn't a storyline. Because, you know, you always have, oh, we're just some good people um, that want to protect our family, but we're also, like, super combat veterans and all that, right? 
Like, I feel like if you were to literally just make a movie with as much chaos as possible and not make it like, oh, we're just a family trying to survive, I feel like it'd be a lot better. Right? Because, like, you know, you've seen it all before. There's nothing really... You could have had, like, something completely new. Because, you know, that was a, clearly a new concept. But, like, you know, you kind of just ruined that by making it, like, a family trying to survive. I mean, you did, but you didn't at the same time. Because they're interesting stories. It's just, like, I feel like it would have gotten a lot more famous if you literally just had, like, chaos the movie. So, I don't know. That's just me. Um... It's always, it's really funny, because recently I've been kind of, like, um, daydreaming. Like, I feel like I can make a really good short film, if I wanted to. Because, like, I write, like, uh, short stories and like, the horror, like, the thriller, uh, variety. I was writing a novel, but I kind of dropped that a long, long time ago. Oh, excuse me, it was more of the psychological thriller type. Um... Yeah, it's just, like, I don't know, I feel like I can make a really good short film. I feel like I could. I mean, I say that with, like, literally no knowledge or experience of how to direct or make a short film. But I feel like I could pitch a good idea. Yeah, maybe that's it. I feel like I could pitch a good idea and then, you know, help with the shooting. So, yeah, I think I could direct a good um, short film. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, there's, been not, there's not really have, there hasn't really been a lot of good movies out recently. I mean... Um, this movie, because all oh, speaking of movies and uh, Corona, like yeah, freaking, um, a lot of movies are being like um, withheld indefinitely. Like they're just the production stopping. They're not gonna release anything, right? Like freaking uh, the Black Widow movie, Marvel's Black Widow. Like I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the Black Widow movie. It was gonna come out May fourth. That's like a day before my birthday, and like. Like, literally, like, every time that, um, uh, a Marvel movie that's, like, highly anticipated comes out, it's usually, like, all the Avengers movies, and then I think, I don't, I think, Black, no, Black Panther came out in February. Um, but yeah, a lot of Marvel movies come out in May, and, like, I usually get to watch them. Like, all the Avengers movies, I think. Yeah. They come out in, like, May, May 4th. My birthday is May 5th. So it's always cool to just be, like, it's always cool to just, you know, celebrate my birthday, then go to the movies afterwards, and I was gonna watch Black Widow on my birthday, but now, you know, I can't, like, a lot of movies are coming out on, like, digital release, so that's kind of crazy, they're coming on digital release early, I think, uh, Harley Quinn and the Birds of Prey is coming out digital, dig, digitally, digital, digitally, early, as well as uh, Frozen 2, and a lot of movies have just been put on pause until further notice, because, you know, what can you do? You're supposed to be inside, and you're supposed to make sure that, you know, you're protecting yourself as well as others, right? It's 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 really sad. Like, there's this one woman who um, had to tell her grandmother that she had gotten engaged outside of a window, right? Her, grandma was in her, her grandmother was in her house, and the, her grandbaby was outside the window with the engagement ring. You know, that's something you should, you know, be inside for, for hugs and all that, but it's like... What can you do, right? Like, this is... It's crazy. Um, there's a movie that also got... Um, the delayed, I believe, called Soul. It's a Pixar movie. And Soul looks so good. It's so good. It looks so good. And I cannot wait to watch it. Um, it's about this band director. You know, he... Um, he wants to... As far as I know, it um, it ta- it's a lot pretty much about death and life, uh, he tries to get into this band performance, and, like, he finally gets it, but then he dies, like, as soon as he finds out that he got accepted, and then, yeah, and then, like, I think, yeah, it's a like, kind of a travel, he doesn't want to, like, move on, right, he tries to get back, and then he goes to this place called The Great Before, and, like, you know, he's kind of, like, messing up the system, and, you know, he's trying to, like, tell the soul that hasn't gone to Earth yet, like, the joys of life, and, like, there was a, a quote from the trailer that says, like, is all this living really worth dying for? And that's a really powerful quote. And, like, I just can't wait to watch it. It looks really, really good. The animation looks, like, crispy clean. Like, it's just, it's so good. I think it's, like, the first Pixar movie with a black lead. And I just, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh, well. Uh, yeah. Like, cannot uh, I cannot wait, but, you know, I might be waiting a lot longer than I think. 
So that's sad. That is sad. Oh, goodness gracious. Like, I just, I don't even want to, like, because I've been, like, putting off, because I said I, like, um, I was supposed to uh, record this podcast, like, a few days ago. I've just been putting it off, because it's just, like, I don't know, I've been going through it. Like, I'm, I'm worried about what's going to happen. Like, this could easily just fade away into relevancy next month or next week. Or this could last a long, long time, and I, we just don't know what it's going to be. So I'm not trying to fear monger or whatever, but like, you know, please stay inside, please wash your hands, because like this could be ridiculous. Um, like I've been waking up with migraines every day this week and last week. I think uh, I think it's been like seven days now. I mean, I'm getting better. There, I think it's because it's either because it's been really hot in my room, or I've been stressed out, or I've been clenching my uh, teeth in my sleep again. Because I do that. I do clench my jaws in my sleep. Like, I gave myself lockjaw once by accident because I was clenching so hard while I was sleeping. And I think I do when I'm stressed, and I'm, like, super stressed right now because it's, like, whew. It is going down. Like, online classes, like, I thought, oh, man, this is about to be a breeze. But then, excuse me, because like, I've had, like, one or two online classes before, but, like, they were in different semesters. So it was my regular classes, and then it was, like, one online class. Like, one online class in the summer was the only thing I'm doing. This is different because it's like all of your classes, right? So it's it's real hard. It's real hard. And it's just, you know, you got to like, um, I got to wake up early in the morning to go to biology and listen to Dr. Koble <laughs> talk to us about bio. I mean, I'm very glad that I um, the only online class that's like, you know, you're sitting there on like a live stream. Is someone, you know, Dr. Koble, who actually knows how to use technology. Because I think I would rip my hair out if I had to have a teacher who didn't know how to use technology try to figure out how to do a live stream. Because, like, that would be insane, right? Like, cause, oh, my goodness. I want to do this thing. <clears throat> Speaking of movies and just quarantine and all that, I want to get some friends. And we can, like, um, uh, if you have Google Chrome... You can use this uh, addition on Netflix where you can get a bunch of friends. And you can all watch the same movie. It's like it's like live streaming and watching a movie at the same time. And it seems cool. So I want to get a bunch of friends and like do that because, you know, that'd be fun. That'd be real cool. Yeah, I wanted to get somebody on this podcast. I actually like wanted to like dial in. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm actually going to do that, because, like, you know, I love doing this podcast, right, and I I have fun with this, and I, you know, I got a lot of, I get a lot of support on this podcast, right, so, like, I want to, I want to see if my friends are willing to, you know, dial in and say something, and, you know, Maybe, you know, ask some questions, say, shout some stuff out, you know, wow it out a little bit. Hold on. I'm sorry. I need to, I need to actually talk because like, I, I don't want to just say, <laughs> I don't want to just sit here in silence, but like, hold up, 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 hold up. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody reply. Please, 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 please. Hold on, I'm going to put on my story. Hold up. Actually, I'm not going Instagram live. No, no, no. I look I look a mess, by the way. I look a mess, all right? Like, I purposely didn't get a haircut before the whole, like, shutdown happened because um, if we're going to be in an apocalypse, I want to look as homeless as possible, right? If this is about to turn into Mad Max, I want to look the part, right? Like, I want to look as crazy as possible. I'm look, like, my beard, this is the thickest my beard has, like, ever been. And I'm loving it. It doesn't even look that thick, right? Like, if I would touch it, you know, I'm still going to feel my, like, face. But then, like, it's, it looks good. It looks good. I don't even want to shave. Like I'm just gonna like turn. I'm gonna turn into a big uh, Bigfoot. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna go crazy, right? You're all gonna see me, and I'm gonna look like a whole different person. It's it's gonna be great. 
They're gonna be great. I'm sorry. I'm on social media. Still, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> all right, now I got my friends all saying no because they're a bunch of cowards. But hold up. Oh well. Oh well. Anyway, back to me, because you know I'm the most important here. But <laughs> just kidding. But um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's talk about food because I like food. And speaking of food, everyone's been like you know freaking going crazy over food and all that. Like my dad went to get some more supplies and freaking he I told him not to go to Target because oh excuse me I, I actually I went to GameStop I know cause speaking of, actually let's talk about GameStop actually cause I told my dad not to go to Target because Target was packed so I think he went to Walmart but let's talk about GameStop because GameStop is another thing that's pissing me up freaking um Hold on. So, yeah. GameStop, right? Because, you know, the whole quarantine thing is the main rule is that everything is shutting down except, 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 like, essential businesses, right? So, like, you know, grocery stores, um, grocery stores, and then you have, like, uh, probably even car dealerships, to be honest. Right, like, I feel like, yeah, because the car dealership was open. But GameStop is a store that sells video games. So, for some reason, they are still open because they consider themselves an essential, like, business, right? So, they're pretty much saying that, hey, we're going to stay open because we think, um... We're the only, like, video game supply. We're the most important, right? First of all, it's garbage. Because I could literally just gotten the game I bought on Amazon. And that would have been it. Hold on. All right, we have a call. We have, we have caller number one. Hold on. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm calling this man. Hold up. Hold on, one more call. Okay. Let's see if he picks up. Cause we have we have caller number one. All right, um, hello Joe. We have Joe on the podcast. What's up, Joe? Yeah, what's up, Chris? All right. Um, so anything you want to say? Anything? Yeah. Any thoughts about uh the current state of America right now? I think people are panicking just a little too much, but that's it. That's it. I mean, I don't know, man, cause uh, Italy's going crazy. Uh, we got like nineteen thousand now in America. We'll see what happens, but are you, are you ready for the apocalypse? Are you ready? I guess. I'll probably be a part of it. I mean, hey, man, if, if Mad Max happens, we got to get together. We got to stand together. <laughs> we'll take my dad's Jeep. We'll just we'll, we'll, we'll trick it out. I already got my first scare this weekend. All right, nice. <laughs> I, got, I got sick, had like a fever for one day. Okay. And I went away. So it should be good. All right, you better wash your hands, sir, because like I know it might be a zombie apocalypse next month, right? Like it's gonna be crazy. That's why we have our toilet paper to defend ourselves. Exactly. All right, I'll see you, man. Yeah, see. You. All right, thank you, Joe. Hold on, do we have another caller? Hold on. No, I don't think we do. But that. All right. So yeah, that's fun. That's super fun. But anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Food. We're talking about food. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I hope everyone's stocked up. Um, but um, it's crazy because the quarantine didn't really hit me until um, after Taco Bell emailed me and said that they're still doing drive through only. I'm like, I'm not eating any fast food or anytime soon because you know that is just not a good idea for very obvious reasons and um i was pissed because like <laughs> i always get like you know the quesadilla or the crunch wrap i always want to get like the taco pizza which it sounds good but i don't know i feel like a taco pizza would be good like, i was like really craving a slushy one time, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and Taco Bell. I'm going to go ahead and just go down to Taco Bell, give me, like, that uh, blue raspberry slushie, and just go home. 
And then I turned around and the news was on saying that like we, Italy had like a spike of deaths in like 24 hours, like 300 deaths in like 24 hours. I'm like, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Right? Like it's just it's it's going it's going down. It is going down. And like it doesn't seem like it's gonna stop. It really doesn't. And hopefully we're all okay. Right, I'm trying to get more callers. I'm trying to get more callers. I hope y'all were able to hear Joe, because um, I hope because I don't know. It didn't really seem like it was showing up. I hope it was, because that was like really really funny. Well, hold on. Uh, what other celebrities have the corona? Now that I'm thinking about it, cause you don't. Uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks got the corona. That's crazy. Um, the whole dog thing, the dog with corona, that. That I didn't understand. Sorry, sorry. It was on the Snapchat. Sorry, sorry about that. But yeah, that's crazy. Because at first it was like, oh yeah, dogs can get corona, so we're just going to put all these dogs in like health centers, right? Then they're like, oh yeah, never mind, dogs can't get corona. And then I think like yesterday, and so they, re- they released all the dogs when they said, oh, dogs can get corona. Then yesterday... I think yesterday, the day before, they were like, oh, never mind, dogs can get corona. So, um, <laughs> I've been looking at my dog a little bit differently. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I don't know. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Like, I don't know what is happening. I don't get it. I don't understand like, this just came out of nowhere, too. Like, I was talking to Joe. Like, <laughs> this month has been... Aw- I mean, not this, just this month. This 2020 has been awful, right? Like, you had World War, World War Three, Then you had... Um, what was it? Freaking World War Three. Then you had the bushfires in Australia and just fires in California and Florida, I think. Excuse me, Florida is always like either on fire or drowning. And then now you have the coronavirus. And now next month is probably going to be an alien invasion. Yeah, a month after that, uh, meteors actually going to hit the earth. And so, like, because we've had like four meteors like fly like in the general direction of earth, and people have just been freaking out about that. So, yeah, people just freak out. People are going crazy. Um, freaking. People in Italy, they were doing some real cool where it's like, you know, they were all singing on their balconies, you know, for, you know, a sense of togetherness. But for some reason, um, so let's say, all right, I don't really know the full details. Like, I do, but I don't. But, so you had, you know, a bunch of people in Italy singing on the balconies to, you know, bring themselves together, Right. And so on online, like on Twitter, right? Everyone seeing this is real cool. Then, like, let's say a uh, Katy Perry fan, right? I think yeah, this did happen with Katy. A Katy Perry fan took this clip of a bunch of Italian people singing a song, and dubbed the the video with a crowd of people singing a Katy Perry song, and everyone was like, "Hey, yeah, the, all these people are singing Katy Perry to bring themselves together," and Katy Perry actually fell for it. And, like, this wasn't just, like, Katy Perry, you know, people were doing this, like, Chief Keef with, like, everyone. Like, I don't understand why. <laughs> for I don't understand why, for first thing, um, for first thing is that, you know, people are, like, dubbing over a very, um, inspirational moment with, like, some music that we listen to. And then, also, I don't understand how the celebrities are falling for it. Hold on, I have another person about to call in. Hold on, podcast. This is cool. Uh, this is <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't know why I'm done. I wanted. I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to, and like, you know, was might as well do it because yeah, I wanted to the, in the car. I wanted to have people like call in. I wanted to do like a um a help desk type thing, right? You know, I just have a bunch of people freaking um uh give me questions and I'll answer them. You know, like ad- advice. Like an advice column type thing. And I think we have caller number two. Hold up, hold up. Do we have caller number two? I don't know. She's typing. She's typing. 
Goodness gracious, hold up. Alright, we have caller number two. I'm calling her right now. Let's see if she picks up. Let's see if she picks up. I wish my volume was louder, but it's not a full volume. Come on. Pick up, Ash. Come on. Come on, girl. Please. What? Oh, uh, why'd she hang up? She hung up. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, she's not ready. She's not ready. She's in my bio. She's in my bio. She's too funny. She's acting all shy now. Oh, well. She'll call. She'll, she'll be ready in a minute. But... So yeah, I don't know why people are tricking celebrities into you know, believing that people are singing their songs when we should probably be focusing on the fact that there is a literal pandemic. So, oh well, there's that. You know, human beings will always find a way to just, um, I don't even know, put other people in awe, 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 A-W-E, I don't know how to pronounce that, awe, there we go, freaking... It's it's crazy. It's just so we. I I know. I'm saying. I keep repeating myself. I keep repeating myself. Cause I'm distracted. Cause I'm trying to get people to call in. I probably should have planned this beforehand. Cause like this is not something that I planned. This was just like you know what? I got a great idea. But oh well. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, speaking of food, um, the place I went to in Ithaca was called Luna's. This is not sponsored. Um, this is. This is uh you know just something we went to a place in there called Lunas. It's really good. It's like it's um it's kind of interesting too because like you pay first, and then they just bring the food. You like pay these little booths, and then yeah you just eat and it's really good food. They have a bunch of things. They have even like Korean barbecue they bring out to you. You I had some like chicken wings. Their chicken wings are really really good. Um, uh, my friends we were there was like um, how many of us were there? There were. There were one, two, three, four, five, six of us. No, there were five of us. I can't count. There were five of us, including me. And yeah, it was it was kind of a small place, but it was just really, really good. I'm like, I definitely am gonna go there again and get something else because like I was just really craving chicken wings, right? Oh, excuse me. I just love buffalo wings. I love buffalo wings. It's great. But like, hold on. Do we have a caller? Hold on. I'm gonna try again. Ash, come on, Ash. Come on. I know, I know she wants to be on this podcast, because, I mean, granted, this is the first time hearing on my podcast, so that sucked. Oh my gosh, she needs two minutes. Oh my gosh. Boo. Anyway. So yeah, Luna's are really good. I've been craving chicken wings. There's a funny story about me and buffalo wings. Like, there was, it's like one of my, I guess some, you could say my comfort food, because I, there was a point, I was in the Bahamas for my high school graduation, um, present, pretty much. My parents took me on a cruise down to the Bahamas, and we were, it was, uh, we were, the cruise ship would go to different islands of the Bahamas, and then it was the beach islands. We were all at the beach, having fun, and I think I've told the story about how this guy was flirting with this one girl, but the way he was flirting was he was trying to convince them that 9-11 was just CGI and not actually real, and so, like, that happened while we were at the beach. But I was too busy getting sunburned to, like, you know, call him an idiot. Because, um, yeah, I just got tired of the beach. I mean, the beach is fun, but it was crowded, and, like, I, it was hot. And, like, you know, I was just getting heat stroke or heat sunburn. And then I, I just really wanted chicken wings so bad. So I just, like, stayed on the beach and wrapped myself in the towel to protect myself from the heat, and I just waited. Like, I couldn't do it. I was just drinking, like, virgin daiquiris, just, just waiting for my family to get out the beach, because, like, for the love of God, I just, I wanted those chicken wings so bad. <laughs> and I, know, I, I got them. I did, I did get them. I did get them. So that was cool, but, oh, well. Oh, well. But hold on. All right. I'm sorry. I keep doing this. Okay. She's ready. She's finally ready. All right, we're calling her up. All right, Ash, you are on the Whatever Podcast. Um, hello? All right, okay. Hi. Because it took you long enough. We've been talking trash about you this whole time. Yeah, I bet. So, all right. So, for one, how do you feel about the online classes going on? Because we're in the same bio class. And how do you feel about the online? 
I think it's kind of confusing because at home I don't have good Wi-Fi. Mm. So like it's hard to understand things. Like how many online classes do you have? I mean all of them obviously, but like is all like is it how many of them are just like um like live streaming with like Dr. Coble? He's like we actually like see him. Like how many of those are like that? Um just two of them. What's the other one? So far. Uh, math. Okay. Um is your math teacher like do they actually know what they're doing, or is it, like, frustrating? No, he knows what he's doing. It's just, like, the Wi-Fi thing. Gotcha, gotcha. And also, um, so, well, since we're in this quarantine, like, how do you feel about quarantine? And, like, what's a, what's a restaurant that you miss right now that you can't go to? Uh, Taco Bell. I knew that was coming. I actually talked about Taco Bell <laughs> a little bit. Yeah? Yeah, because, like, I wanted to, like, go down and, like, just get, like, a slushie or something and just, like, come back. But then I turned on the news, and it was like, oh, yeah, Italy had, like, 300 deaths in 12 hours. So I'm like, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, um, I believe in the next 72 hours they're going to be, like, closing everything and making us stay inside for two weeks. Yeah, apparently, like, tomorrow the National Guard is going to come in. So we'll see what happens with that. Yeah. But hey, thank you for being on the podcast. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye Bye-bye. All right, sweet. This is actually super fun. I just wish more of my friends would be on social media right now. Because, like... Because, like, I want more people on here. Because this is actually super fun. I'm going to make a whole podcast like this, actually, to be honest. I'm going to make a whole podcast like this. Because this is super fun. I like this. But let's see. What else can I talk about in the meantime? Because no one's hitting me up right now. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We do. We have one person. Hold on. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. Uh-oh. Hold on. We are going to call. All right. We're going to call uh Bailey. We're calling uh Oh, geez, this is a video call? What's, no, I didn't mean to do a video call, but like I was just uh, I didn't I don't know how Instagram works, but what's up? You on the Whatever Podcast. What's up, Whatever Podcast? This is Bailey. So Mother, um uh, from Horses, New York. Alright, so uh, how do you feel about the state of our country right now and like what's going on with everything? Uh I don't know. These are troubling times for sure. <laughs> I think this is like a huge test of our healthcare system. I think this is a huge test of um like how we are going to come together as people i think that um i don't know i think i think something like this is supposed to happen uh soon enough or you know gonna happen soon enough um so i think it's a good thing that you know i I don't think it's a good thing that it's coming right i think i think that it's a good thing that we are that there's something to test you know absolutely because if we got hit with something that was a hundred percent worse than this you know I don't know if you've seen the Contagion movie yet. Um, there's this movie Contagion that's out. Mm. It's like it's super similar. I suggest everybody watches it right now. Okay. Um, because it just it's a, it's a way more severe like disease it's coming through. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, in their movie, but this is just a good test to see where we're at. Because if something like that did happen, we'd be all dead. Pretty much, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Um, I don't know. I think that we. I, I think that the community needs to come together. I think we need to be smart. Um, I think it's a great time, though, um, for other things other than, like, you know, fear and stuff like that. I think that um, I, I've heard a few things and watched a few videos, and they talked about, like, how in, like, times like this, when schools close down, um, when people are allowed to not work and allowed to think right. for once – that it's like a time of creativity and it's actually absolutely um, when when isaac newton created the laws of gravity and all that stuff so absolutely i guess cambridge shut down and all that stuff happened when yeah the, you know the black plague yeah when the black plague so i mean i think it's just a time that we need to be with our families and you absolutely know, you know grow as a, a you know as a people yeah how long do you think this is gonna last <sighs> that's hard to say i think you know i think two months is really gonna be like at least, I don't know how long these shutdowns and everything. I work at the gym right. um, in horse heads, and we shut down. I leave for basic training in about 10 days, so oh, hopefully dang. they let, let me go. But I'm I'm just going to be, you know, gone. You guys are going to have to yeah, man. Know, get through all this together. Um, 
hopefully I'll be, you know, out of here. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's a great time to be, you know, with my family and stuff. And I don't know, there's, you know, I don't know if you guys heard that Kenny Rogers has passed away. Yeah, today. yeah, I just had him on a little bit. a legend, man. Yeah, rest um, in peace. But I think about two months, really, um, on the fact of that, um, is going to be like the big time, but people are saying, you know, it could be, you know, eight months. Yeah, That's scary. We will see. But, All right. Thank you for see. calling in. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Have a great one. You too. Good luck, man. Yep. All right. So that was actually real cool. That was real cool, Bailey. That actually went a lot better than I expected. This is pretty fun. fun. Hold on. I think we have two more callers. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. All right, but yeah. Um, yeah, rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. And, like, yeah, I kind of agree with Bailey. Because, like, a lot of people have been talking about how, like, a lot of systems in America just, you know, when it comes to something like this, it kind of just proves that they don't work. Like, the healthcare system, the money, like, the economy, like, a lot of these things that we have in place just literally just don't work. And all it took was, like, a virus to prove that. And so hopefully that we do see some change after this is all resolved. But, you know, who knows? All right, like. Uh, yeah, never mind. We don't have any more callers. But, man, I think, um, I think that was good, right? <sighs> I know. It's just, it's it's ridiculous. I'm, I, I really didn't want this whole podcast to be uh, the Corona podcast. But, you know, we just, I don't know. It just... What else is there to talk about? We're all locked in our houses, right? A new video game I bought, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Like, if you don't know, it's a game where you're just like, uh, this cute little character trying to run an island and try to get people to explore your island. Just really this cutesy, relaxing, chill little video game that I bought. You know, just keep my minds off things. And yeah, um, and just take care of yourselves, people. We have two new podcasts, one about, um, mental health and i suggest checking that out as well it should be on the website that this podcast is on and that's something we all need to focus on right now as well is our mental health because like people get cabin fever i was seeing this weird thing um this is a while ago but it was through the whole quarantine thing well a lot of these couples um that were like into like forced quarantine right like you know people actually had the disease and like their local governments i think in, like china and italy right, you know they, they forced them to be in this specific area and then after they were all let out, they immediately filed for divorce, right? And see so how a lot of these people, like, in America, like, complaining that they have to be with their spouses, like, for this whole time. And, like, a lot of people are confused, like, I thought you are supposed to marry somebody you enjoy spending time with, right? Like, <laughs> I, I get the whole, um, you know, time to yourself thing, but then, like, it's kind of crazy that y'all are filing for divorce just because you have to be with a significant other, like, a lot. Like, it's crazy it's crazy it's it's ridiculous it's it's ridiculous like imagine right imagine you fall in love with this person you marry them you're dating them for like years you marry them you marry them you just get married quarantine happens you gotta stay in the house with them 24 7 and you realize that you can't stand them. Like, I don't know what I would do. I really don't know what I would do. But I feel like, you know, this is the importance of actually, you know, getting to know somebody. Like, you know, things move too fast. They move, things move way too fast. But, you know. You know, um, that's the boomer in me talking. Like, oh, young people these days, they move too fast. Like, as if, as if I'm any different, right? Like... I, a lot of my girlfriends, we moved way too fast, and we crashed even faster, so, oh well, you know, you live and you learn, golly, if I ever have kids, this is gonna be a great story, just like, hey, I survived an apocalypse, right, people were beating each other up before with toilet paper, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, like, it's about to be insane. But I think, I think I have another caller. I think I do. All right, I think we got another caller. 
Let's see. Um, all right, uh oh, we have another caller. All right, hello Blakely, you are on the whatever podcast. What is up? Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you uh how are you preparing for this uh quarantine that's going on? Oh, I'm just I'm honestly just chilling. It's kinda it's kinda nice out, it's kinda cold out today. Alright. You outside um, right now? Yeah, I'm outside. Well I'm in my car actually. Okay. Where are you going? Uh I'm just, I was just traveling back to my um my quarantine quarters. Okay. Room. I like that, quarantine quarters. That's a good title for <laughs> yeah. it. Yes, yes, and um, yeah, I was visiting my parents, making sure that I was getting them some groceries and stuff. Oh, that's great, that's great. Keeping my distance from them, you know. Yes. Um, but yeah, now I'm about to cook. I have some asparagus. Nice. And I'm going to be cooking and cleaning a lot. So All right, great. a sanctuary. Fantastic. Myself. How do you feel about the people that are, like, fighting over toilet paper? Because like, I just watched a video earlier about, like... How these two dudes like beat each other bloody over a roll of toilet paper? Like, how do you feel about that whole debacle going on with the toilet paper? Man, I feel like they are acting selfish. Like, it's not the end of the world. I know it might feel like it for some people, but even in quarantine, grocery stores do still stay open. So that is I true. think that people who are taking all the food, taking all the toilet paper. And getting hostile are acting selfish. I completely agree. All right, thank you for calling in. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, all right. I'll talk to you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, I think we have another caller already. All right. This is a special caller. Hold up. This is a very special. We have an inside scoop. All right, Danielle, you're on the Whatever Podcast, and uh, what's up? <laughs> Hi, Danielle. Think you actually put me on? Nah, this is my cousin, ladies and gentlemen, and this is my cousin who is actually in California right now. So, um, how do you feel about how there are um, statistics saying that fifty-six percent of people in California are gonna get coronavirus? I don't know. Um, I feel like a lot of people are not following the quarantine rules and are still going out, so it's a high chance. But uh -huh. I'm locked in. So you're I locked in. All right, good. Because I swear, if I called you and you were on a beach right now. I would be very angry. Nah, not me. All right, good. I'm about to watch TV. Good. What are, you, what are you about to watch? What are you about to watch? Oh, I don't know. Whatever Netflix has to offer. Oh my goodness! All right. Uh, next question. Um, so how? What? What is the first thing you're gonna do when the quarantine is released? If it's released, like, what's the first thing you're gonna do? I'm gonna go shop. Uh, I, I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I need some shoes. All and right. Hair. But I'll call you. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for being on the podcast. Right. No problem. Have fun. All right. So that was fun. But we are running up in the end. We only got like seven minutes left. So I don't think we have time for any more callers. Thank you for everyone who called in. Um, goodness gracious. Well, there was. Oh, speaking of which, if you do want to go outside, like if quarantine's driving you crazy, right? And. You want to, you know, do at least something. What I think you should do is you should go right down, down, just go past the driveway, you know, just drive around your neighborhood, then turn directly back into your house. Because if you want to get out of quarantine fast, you need to do what they're actually telling you to do, right? I don't care that it's spring break. I saw a tweet where it was like, oh... No, it was on Snapchat where it was like, oh, we drove 18 hours down to Florida, and now we got, a day later, we got to drive 18 hours back home because of the coronavirus. Like, oh my goodness. Boo-hoo. I'm so sorry. Like, literally, if y'all want to get out of quarantine, stay in quarantine. That's the fastest way they're going to resolve this, hopefully, right? Like, apparently, Germany and Canada are working on a vaccine. Apparently, um, <sighs> apparently, uh, USA is like, like, Almost, I mean, at least tried to give Germany like a whole billion dollars just to get some research notes. Um, like, I don't know what's going on. China's like um, just getting into like high gear with it. So, you know, 
Maybe there'll be some good news after this podcast. Maybe there'll be some really bad news after this podcast. We will see. And we will find out. But, you know... It's, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be alright. And, you know... What we can all learn from this is that... There will be tough times. And there will be really tough times. But... Even though there's been a lot of selfish people out there, a lot of um, people that just don't really care, and they should be. There's been some good people. Like, I think I said, like, Steph Curry and his wife are donating a lot of food. People are bringing attention to problems that we should have paid attention to a long time ago. People are, you know, there have been a lot of people locally in their own neighborhoods that have, like, set up these systems, like, help people out. Like, I remember this is one man, I forgot his name, like, where he's at, but, like, he would, uh, he gave all these, like, um, red and green note cards to, like, elderly people and such. So they would have a green note card outside the window, pretty much saying, they're like, hey, we're okay, we don't need supplies. And they put a red card outside the window to, like, let them know, like, hey, we need some supplies, like, please help us, right? And so people, excuse me, around the country, around the world are doing good things. And that's what we need right now. We need good people doing good things. I wish there was more that I can do right like unfortunately like i don't really have uh, uh, required necessities to like you know just give out money or just like provide food like i mean granted like if this gets a lot worse then like my family and i will more than most likely donate in any way we can but right now we're just trying to see how everything plays out i think we should all do that we should all be watching and seeing watching and doing right we need to do the right thing and then also watch watch who's doing the right thing and, you know, this too will pass. This too will pass. And hopefully it passes uh, sooner than it does later. It's going to be great. It's going to be okay. But, but, I think I'm going to end it here. I am Christian McGarry, your host of the Whatever Podcast. And I promise the next episode will be out sooner than they usually have been out. And yes, without much further ado, thank you very much for listening to this podcast. And I will see you all later.